Dense urban living doesn't always have to occur in isolating structures. This project uses geometry and architectural genius to create a space where everyday life is meant to be enjoyed. If you haven't already guessed, we are at The Interlace, a project that encompasses a vast network of living and communal spaces. Today, Property Limb Brothers is bringing you to a two-bed, two-bar New York City loft apartment-style home right here in the heart of District 4, an area primed for growth. I think you're really not going to want to miss this out. Today we are at a modern and smart home nestled in the heart of connectivity where you will find that our owners have built themselves a New York City loft apartment style home. Designed by German architect Ole Schieren, this project is a 99-year leasehold project that TOP'd in 2013. You will find 31 apartment blocks totaling 1,040 residential units with 8 retail shops. Each Jenga block that you will find is actually 6 storeys tall, stacked up in a hexagonal arrangement to form the 24-storey high building that you see today. The staggering of the blocks not only creates cross ventilation across the project, it also creates panoramic views for almost every home in this project. We are at block 206 with a northeast facing towards the periphery of the building. Effectively, this unit will have no west sun with a 270 degrees view from the living room as well as your two rooms. The interlace is built on an elevated site of 8 hectares of land bounded by the Alexandra Road and the Ayaraja Expressway. Residents will enjoy easy access to major expressways such as the CTE. We are a mere 15 minutes drive to Orchard Road and the Central Business District and less than 10 minutes bus ride to Labrador Park and Queenstown MRT. You also get a shuttle bus service from the project to Harbourfront MRT. At Harbourfront MRT is also where you will find Vivo City. Other nearby malls include Queensway Shopping center, IKEA, and the entire Orchard shopping belt. Now enough about the project, let's talk a little bit about this New York City themed home. Back in the 50s and 60s in New York City, industrial and commercial conversions were perfect for striving musicians and artists who were living for a space where they could both live in and work at the same time. This pioneered loft living where creative souls turned warehouses into beautiful minimalistic spaces that are known today as loft apartments. Loft apartments in New York City were built at a time where brick was a commonly used material for exterior and load-bearing walls. Today, brick walls remain a quintessential feature of loft apartment style buildings, giving both character and texture to the home. What you will see behind me is actually a handmade feature wall done up by our owners, and they have chosen this grey colour instead of a red brick colour to give more visual balance to the home. Another feature of loft apartments are also large windows that let in plenty of light into your home. What is even more exciting is that the windows also open up to a gorgeous, gorgeous view which you can enjoy right here in your living space. For example, I can just imagine how relaxing it would be to just sit by this bay window to enjoy the view. In addition, our owners have also renovated this bay window with this compact plus material that gives a woody feel to your home. This is also a space where you can display some of your books or other display on Moving on to this side of the living room, you will find that our owners have actually done up concrete screed walls on this side of the living room as well as at the side of the dining area. The industrial element of the concrete screed walls are balanced out by the warmth that the Scandinavian wood, which is found right here at the bay window as well as at the kitchen door, brings into the home. And as a bonus for you, I think you'll be really surprised to know that there's this huge projector screen here that you can actually lower down electrically. You just need to put your projector by the bay window and you can project whatever movie that you want to watch onto the screen. Additionally, this home is fully smart home compatible with smart switches all around. The lighting systems are also carefully designed to create any kind of mood that suits the occasion, be it whether you are reading, entertaining or just enjoying a cosy, intimate night in.
Of all the unit types here, we are a two-bedder standing at 807 square feet. Looking at the floor plan, you will find a brilliant planning of the space to have the communal areas tucked on one side of the home and the rooms tucked away at the other end of the home. Our owners have actually shifted the kitchen entrance from the centre of the living room all the way to the far end of the room. Because our owners have optimised the layout of the living room, you will find that you are able to now fit in a 3 meter long L-shaped sofa right across the width of your living space. Now come along with me as we explore the kitchen. This is a double swing door where you can open it outwards if you need more space in the kitchen, as well as inwards if you are hosting friends in the living room. Our owners have also renovated this space to be in line with the theme of the home. You will find that they have used compact plus here in the kitchen as well as in the backsplash area. And you will find that we have a matching Bosch hood and hop with a three burner cooking top. Now moving on to the sink, you will find that we have a grower at Mitsubishi tap head here with a convenient pull-out shower head which you can use to wash your dishes but more importantly it gives you filtered water right from your tap. In addition to the cabinetry that already came with the home, our owners have done up even more cabinetry up here so you can see that we have a total of seven panels of cabinetry right at the top of your kitchen. Moving further into your home is also where you will find your washer come dryer as well as this cabinet down here which perfectly fits the microwave, the concrete screed walls as well as the open windows really opens up to a view. Moving on to this squarish corner of the kitchen, you'll find that our owners have actually put the fridge here, as well as added in this built-in condiments rack, which is perfectly stocked. In order to better optimize the kitchen space, our owners have also done up this pull-up table, where you can easily use for more space in your kitchen. Coming out of the kitchen, you will actually find that the designated dining area has actually been transformed by our owners into a work from home station. If you do wish to reinstate this to a dining area, we think that it will perfectly fit a four to five seater right at this corner of the home. Because of the large windows, you will let in plenty of natural light all the way past the living room into this dining area. If this renovation is something that suits to your palette, you will not only save yourself the $100,000 worth of renovation costs, but you will also save yourself about three months of renovation time. Asking at 1.48 million at 807 square feet, we are at a PSF that is at the low range of the 1,800 PSF. There are no projects within the one kilometer radius of interlace. Looking at two bedders within the two kilometer radius, we have Sterling Residences asking lowest starting from 1.7 million to 1.77 million. Standing at 764 square foot, this brings the PSF of two bedders there to 2,225 to 2,300 odd PSF. Looking at Commonwealth Towers, we do have units from 1.5 million to 1.58 million. Two bedders there are less than 800 square feet, standing at 700 square feet to 796 square feet. This brings the PSF PSF at Commonwealth Towers to 1,985 to 2,150 PSF. If you're looking at new launches in the area, Ken Ridge Hill Residences, two bedders are standing at 743 to 883 square feet. Asking prices are at 1.77 million to 1.79 million, which brings the PSF across the 2,000 PSF mark. If you're looking at Normanton Park, the two bedders there are standing at 850 square feet. Asking prices are at 1.6 million to 1.648 million. Closing in at at 1,891 PSF to 1,938 PSF. If you're looking for a two-bedder in the area and you want to keep your quantum below the 1.5 million mark as well as your PSF at the lower end of 1,800 PSF, then we think that this unit could really be priced attractively for you. Now moving on to the rest of the home, walking down this walkway, you will find the common toilet, the common room as well as the master bedroom. Stepping into the toilet, you will see that it is really beautifully renovated. The first thing that kind of just pops out at you are the blue tiles that our owners have chosen for the wall. This gives a calming and relaxing feel to the common bathroom, which is perfect for you when you are hosting guests. You have your sink, standing shower, as well as the WC. What I love about this common toilet is actually this mirror here, which comes with a 
matching cabinet that is concealed by the mirror fronting. All fixtures are from Bravard and super well maintained and clean. Now let's move on to the common room. Now welcome to the common room which is actually such a beautifully renovated and well-optimized space. You also have those large windows that you see throughout the entire home and that brings in plenty of natural light whether you are using this as a bedroom or as a study room. Our owners have actually redesigned this space to become a study which can actually fit two working stations here as well as two more working stations here if you so wish to. Now one thing that we think is brilliant is that our owners have actually done up this additional storage space to elevate the bar windows so that this becomes perfectly functional space. Additionally, we also have a fully customized built-in cabinetry set here on top of these working stations. The finish of this cabinetry also brings out this industrial feel which really adds to the character of this room. If you are intending to reinstate this back to a bedroom, you can do so while retaining the full height wardrobes that have been done up by our owners by just fitting a single bed right here. On this corner, our owners also have a sofa bed which makes this the perfect space to become a guest room. Now before we head on to the master bedroom and the master ensuite, I just want to touch a little bit on the pricing analysis. Buying in at the 1.48 million mark with a 3% interest rate over a loan tenure of 30 years, considering the max loan to value ratio of 75%, you are looking at a monthly repayment of $4,600 per month. And this is not considering any CPF contributions that you may have, which will less off your monthly mortgage. Now, come on in, we are open. This is the master bedroom with its master ensuite. A perfectly good sized master bedroom that has been fitted with a king size bed and still has two tabletops on each side. Now I think this master bedroom is really really lovely because if you were to just turn your eyes towards this hand painted art here, you will see that our owners have put in a lot of effort to make this space a really comfortable and beautiful space to live in. Now I bet you have never seen a headboard that stretches from floor to ceiling and is hand painted in such a beautiful and meaning design. Our owners have have actually intended for the artwork to represent the mountains transforming into waves and I think that gives such a calming and tranquil feel to this beautiful master bedroom. Another interesting detail of this room is actually these lights that hang down from the ceiling perfectly framing the bed. Similarly, the bay windows have been fitted with this compact plus finishing which gives a Scandinavian warmth feel to your room. Here at our unit, the bay windows are actually quite sizable which gives you a perfect amount of room to just do some storage as well as just relax on the counter if you so wish. On this side of the master bedroom, our owners have also made use of this bay window here to put up their TV counter. However, if you don't watch TV in your master bedroom, you are able to remove this to enjoy a 270 degree view of your surrounding. Now moving on to this corner of the master room, you will see that we have four high panels of wardrobe for you. The ceilings are also really high in the interlace, so you will have plenty of storage space. Now moving on to this corner of the master bedroom, this is actually a tic-tac door that opens up into the master ensuite. The master ensuite is actually really gorgeous with this open view of the city which you can get to enjoy while taking your daily shower. You have this enclosed shower situation, you also have an additional rain shower for you to enjoy. You can tell the interlace thoroughly maintains the privacy of individual home units by building the hexagonal blocks that give far-ranging views to every single unit. Within the project, you will find plenty of spaces for communal interaction, but also for you as a homeowner to enjoy 860,000 square feet of pure lush greenery and foliage.
if you are looking for a beautifully renovated loft style apartment two better below 1.5 million right in district 4 contact our listing managers down below if you enjoyed this home tour with me please remember to like share and subscribe my name is grace property limb brothers always happy to show you the place wow okay wow wow because you know a lot of the headboards are really ugly yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. Mmm. Yeah. And hand Okay. Wow. Okay. Which actually the idea is mountain turning into water. Wow. Super well maintained and of bravade.